Turn off the microphone. There we go. Can you hear me in your mm -hmm. headphones? All right. Cool. Yo, what's up, everybody? Stoner Jesus. First of all, I want to thank you for subscribing to the Stoner Jesus Show Drunken Podcast Live Prank Call Show. Whatever it says there at the bottom. There. Check it out. Um, go check out other shit on our Patreon. For 15 bucks a month, you get our full archives. I've already been posting shit from 2011 on there. Old shows. Also, old blog talk radio shows from way back in 2009. Those are up on our Patreon page. Go check that out. You can also get links to your website. On my website, shoutouts, live commercials, all kinds of shit. A bunch of reward options. Just got to subscribe. This is, of course, this level is only 8 bucks a month. You get access to the live drunken print call show. Uh, back in the day, some of the more fun shows that we did was when we drank and did live prank calls and shit like that. So I figured, what the hell can I offer people besides the regular show and all the other perks and rewards you get for being a Patreon subscriber? And I happened upon the idea of this. So hopefully this works. Hopefully there's no technical issues. Um, and by the way, uh, sternjesus.net for all the, the free shit. You still get the show free. Doing a lot of videos on Facebook. All that's free. But if you can, help support the show. Be a subscriber on Patreon. Extra revenue for the show means more equipment, advertising, so on, and et cetera. In studio with me, but not on camera for security purposes. The fiance Hello. has made a return to the studio after many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, she does not have a working microphone. So it's like good old times, the mm -hmm. good old days. We did the show with Beach, I guess it was a few months ago, and that microphone didn't work, and the fucking microphone still doesn't work. It's annoying, but she does have her traditional uh, prank call premise that she does, so she's here to do that, and uh, I'll just pass the microphone to her, because, you know, I'm not, it's, the technical issues are what they are. The technical limitations are always what they were. I used to do shows on a little fucking headset uh, plugged into a cordless phone, so, you know, <laughs> things do get better, I guess. It is a drunken live prank call show, because drinking makes prank calls more fun. Uh, breaks down a lot of the inhibitions and, um, I don't know, makes you think of shit that you wouldn't normally think of during a fucking prank call. We have our classic uh, premises, most of which you'll hear tonight. If you bothered to subscribe to this, if you did, again, thank you very much. You could spend $8 on all kinds of shit. You could be watching porn right now or cat videos or uh, some bullshit on Facebook playing some fucking game or you could be watching porn again, whatever. But you decide to do this. Thank you, uh, salute, as uh, foreign people say. Uh, the fiance gave me a big ass fucking shot in my trusty Family Guy shot glass. Yeah, sweet, waste it for later. And uh, I haven't drank for shit. I don't know how long. So uh, this will go downhill fairly fucking quick. <laughs> wow, that's fucking awful. I told you. Oh, uh, where's that shit? Give him a shout out. Uh, Burnett's uh, Pink Lemonade Vodka. Fucking tastes nothing like pink lemonade. That's a man's drink right there. <laughs> I'm a fucking man. Um, oh, with the pretty pink slit and all. Yes. <laughs> we'll be doing the prank calls here. Uh, again, started. We also have a couple of classic prank calls we'll throw in. But again, as I'm drinking, i got to make sure that the technical issues uh, go smoothly. Hopefully the audio is being recorded right. It looks like it is. So it's not doing too bad. The system sound. Uh, normally with like a, the podcast or the audio show, we use two computers, ran Skype to the second computer. With this video uh, shit, we have Skype. Uh, look, I can split screen it. Look at that. Fucking technology. See <laughs> Skype right there? And um, so we can call people. And uh, hopefully the sound will come through just fine because it's the system sound part of it. Uh, if it doesn't, then, well, you'll fucking never see this. If it doesn't go well, you'll never see this shit, so I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> you know, crack lighter. Ye old crack lighter. You all know what I'm talking about. I don't smoke crack, but you know how to make a crack lighter. Everybody knows. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do, one of the first prank calls we did a long time ago, and I'll play some of that, we, we called Las Vegas. Way, way back in the day. It was six years ago, I guess. <laughs> and uh, 
is the uh, it's the stripper prank call. We call it the uh, the strip clubs. And I, if I remember correctly, the Spearmint Rhino was the one in Las Vegas that we did that went so well. We're going to check out the Spearmint Rhino Gentleman's Club in Dallas. So we need to put in their number. Which is, you know, I mean, is a, is a public number, so. And these are also, by the way, for any legal eagles out there, anybody wants to give me shit, these are all one-party call states. I Meaning only one party has to know that it's being recorded, and that party would be me. God damn it. I get better at switching back and forth between uh, the number and putting the number in. Is that right? Uh, uh, 0700. Okay, yeah. You want another shot, baby? Uh, yeah, I'll do another shot before we get this going. You can see right there. So we have a transition to the split screen. Hello, everybody. Again, the fiance doesn't want to be on camera for security purposes. No, she's not in the witness protection program. But then again, if she was, you know, I wouldn't tell you. I would lie about it. So take that for what it's worth. Look at that professional shit. Transitioning back and forth between the two shots. Fucking amazing. Here you go, baby. Amazing. Holy shit, this is big too. Not as big as the other one. Whew. It has a really unpleasant taste. Yeah. Like a kind of like a kerosene type aftertaste. <laughs> it just fucking sticks with you. Holy shit. We'll do this shot in this camera now. It's right. This camera's like usually a fucked up color. It looks good tonight. I look fucking good tonight. Yes. You always look good. Damn. That's gross. <laughs> That's nothing like pink lemonade. Ugh, not at all. Now I'm making a face in this camera. Anyway. Who the fuck are we call him? I already forgot. Spirit of Rhino Gentleman's Club in Dallas. Texas, yeah. Now, the thing with live prank calling, like I, I can record them all and, you know, make sure they're all good and there's no fuck-ups and there's no bad calls. That's not the art of live prank calling. The art of live prank calling is it may suck, it may be great. You never know. The problem with these strip clubs is uh, there's loud music. Uh, I guess some dumb bitch going, what? What? <laughs> I'm trying to do my brilliant fucking premise. A bitch is giving me shit. Cause you can't hear me, cause the fucking DJ is playing hot for teacher too loud of a goddamn volume. <laughs> so let's get back to, uh, and again, hopefully the audio should go through. Everything should sound great. I'm hoping. <laughs> if not, this is all for nothing. I'm sitting here wasting my fucking time, killing my brain cell brain cells for no goddamn reason. Okay, let's call. <clears throat> mm, it's a cool sound. We're up there, Mr. Meadow Dallas, 29 for our fire night six. This is Mia. How can I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm currently scheduled to get sex reassignment surgery, and I was calling to inquire how big my breasts would have to be to uh, work in your establishment. Hello? Is anybody there? Can you hear me? See, there you go. That's a hang-up. That's uh, strike one. It happens a lot. You do the live prank calls... There's uh, bitches like that who don't want to, she don't want to tell me how big my titties have to be. Which, by the way, when we first started doing this, uh, transgenderism or whatever wasn't a big deal. But now it's a really big fucking deal. Okay? I'm very, very offended. I'm triggered uh, by her inability to tell me how big my titties have to be to work in her goddamn establishment. I say call Mia back and ask her if you got disconnected. Some <laughs> bullshit. Fuck her. Fuck the Spearman Rhino and Gentle Gentleman's Club in Dallas. You see that bitch, tell her. Say, look, you lost out on some money. Some big fucking titties. I've been making mad dollar bills. Hell yeah. PT Men's Club in Dallas. Great play, Great thing about these strip clubs, man, they're always open. They're open fucking late at night. So let's go put this uh, in there. That's what she said. What the fuck is the number? There it is. It's 214 area code. Dallas. I'm calling that one again. I don't want to call that bitch again. She's going to hang up on me again. <laughs> I know when I've been defeated. When I say 214 area code? Yep. Yep. Yeah, three, one. Is that right? <clears throat> 6643. Bam. I like that noise. This will be, this will be the highlight of the show. 
Thank you for calling P2 Men's Club. Uh, yes, ma'am. My name. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, currently scheduled to get a sex reassignment surgery, and I was wondering if I was going to work in your establishment. Uh, about what size breasts should I be going for? Like big ones, small ones. You know, is there like you know, is there kind of an average there? I'm looking to make mad dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're saying. Well, I'm a man currently, and I'm going to become a woman, and I'm going to get some boobs. And they're gonna be very expensive, so I want to. And I'm gonna have hey, one well, shot at this. Well, good luck to you. Well, I want to know how much. Bitch, fucking hung up on me. <laughs> she said, "Good luck to you." Fuck you. <laughs> I don't need luck. I'm gonna have big titties. <laughs> you have big fucking titties. You don't need luck. Okay, we'll come back to the strip clubs later. This is not working. This is not going well at all. Yeah, they're not cool. <clears throat> Let's do an oldie but a goodie. We'll go out to uh, Phoenix. And these are fun as well. So far, if you're keeping track at home, uh, we're 11 minutes in. We're striking out. Badly. <laughs> She's not interested. Damn. Good luck, though. They have no idea how much money they're mixing out on her. <laughs> I've been drawing them in. But whatever, man. Whatever. 602 area code out in Phoenix. Bam. We're just going to call a convenience store. We haven't done this call in a while. People at convenience stores are like, you know, like fucking teenagers. They're, they got nothing better to do. They're not professional like the bitches. They keep fucking hanging up on me. They'll, uh, maybe they'll, they'll bullshit with you for a little while. Is that number right? I don't think the number's right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Hey, man. I got this shit under control. Let's call these motherfuckers. Convenience store, Phoenix. It sounds annoying. My hit, my earphones. Nobody's picking it up. Even more annoying. It's going well so far. I want to lamp another shot. This is crashing and burning. Crashing and burning. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. You motherfuckers. Which while I was uh <clears throat> while I was sitting here, I did think of another premise uh for the prank calls we used to do back in the day. Um With that there. I don't give too much away. As you can see, the brilliance of these will simply work out if uh, if people get their shit together and play along. I just tell them I'm doing something very important. People paid money for this. You paid money for this. <laughs> you feel about yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll get to your uh, traditional uh, call, fiancé. Right. Fiancé, here in a moment. What the fuck was I going to do? God damn it. I'm going to do another convenience store. There we go. Come on. Uh, 602 area code out in the Phoenix area. Let's try and get a hold of somebody at a convenience store. That's all I need. Someone at a convenience store. Someone to answer at a convenience store. <laughs> and uh, if they don't speak English, well, all the better. Which is a possibility. We'll see. Sounds so bad. The others didn't, though. Strip clubs. Convenience stores have bad connections. Can I go? Hello? Hello, how can I be? Fuck. I don't know. See? See, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <clears throat> Goddamn technical issues. I can't hear what the fuck they're saying. I was ready. I was fucking ready. God damn it. Call us. Call us the same one. Yep, I'm calling back. See if it's better. Boy, well, it's not at all. Tango, I can help you. Yeah, sorry we got disconnected there. Uh, I have a very important question. 
What is the smallest size condoms you have? You sell condoms there, right? Yes, we do. Okay, what's the smallest size you have? I mean, like the absolute, like, bottom of the barrel fucking level. Medium. Medium? Medium? Yeah. Man, I don't know. Man, I mean, don't that's going to fall right off. You don't have anything, like, small or extra small? No. I mean, like, extra small, medium? Because I got, like, a really tiny dick, but, I, you know, I got to protect myself. You know, there's fucking diseases and shit out there. Yeah. I'm going to be getting, like, the clapper or the, you know, the crabs or whatnot. Uh, so you just got medium. Is that, what? what's that for? Like, like five or six inches? Is it like, is like girth involved? Is like, does that count girth or is it just for like length? Motherfuckers. He hung up as well. <laughs> 16 minutes in, we continue to crash and burn. That's what I'm telling you. The art of live prank calling. <clears throat> it is what it is. All right, fancy. You're fucking up because I'm striking out. <laughs> Let's get this over to you. They should be able to hear you uh, as long as you're just talking on the microphone. There we go. Okay. Now, y'all can't hear me. That's all right. Oh, shit. There we go. We do um, classic calls. This is a call you've done uh, many times before. Is that right, Fancy? Yep. Let's see if this works. We're going to call it Domino's Pizza in Denver, Colorado. All right. Uh, all right, put this down. That is a two, three here, right there. Let's do the damn thing. Two, three. Bam. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Let's do that down here. All right, do your shit. I'm going to take this shot. Thank you for calling Domino's. Our featured special is two large one-topping pizzas for just $19.99. Our second feature special is two large two-topping pizzas and your choice of two-liter Coke product for just $23.99. This call may be monitored or recorded. This Domino's is now hiring for... Thank you for calling Domino's. This is Kelly and how may I help you? Um, yes. Hi. I'm throwing a bachelorette party and I need um, some penis shaped pizzas. Could you make those for me? Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Um, I need some penis shaped pizzas. I'm throwing a bachelorette party. Uh, do you have those on special currently? The two for we whatever. Do, we do not sell penis shaped pizzas. Oh, really? Why not? Um, we. I'm not sure why we just don't sell penis shaped pizzas. Well, could I make a special order? Um, we can't do that. I'm sorry. Um, is there a reason why? <laughs> No. I'm going to see if I can speak to a manager. Surely there's a way they could do that. What size pizza? Um, well, are you a manager? I'm not a manager. Maybe I should speak with a manager. Is there a manager available? Hello? Hello? This is David. How can I help you? Hi, David. Are you a manager? Yes, I am. Okay, great. Um, I'm speaking to your employee, and I am throwing a bachelorette party, and basically I need to know if you could make me some penis-shaped pizzas. And I wanted what, to know if uh, I could get those on special for the two for whatever price you have going on. I need pretty many, probably about 20, I'd say. Um, you know, like I was thinking maybe if you don't have a pan, you know, to 
support the, you know, the shape or whatever, could you possibly make me some like balls and then, you know, put maybe a couple together to make a shaft or something? You know what um, I mean? I'm sorry, a bowl? Uh, balls. You know, you know what balls oh. are. You're a guy. <laughs> do you not have uh, balls? I could do like thin crust and I could like cut them into the shape. Okay. Um, but as far as like dough, even when we try and do the heart shapes for Valentine's Day, like they don't bake right. The thin crust is the only one because you like cut it into whatever shape that you're trying to get. Okay. Uh, I can try and do that. Okay, great. Um, so I need probably, like I said, about 20 of them. And I'd like them to have, like, mm, I need them probably, like, Saturday night is when I plan to do the bachelorette party. So, you think you could get 20 of those for me by Saturday? Yeah. Um, and you're for sure, right? You're not you, shitting me and just telling me what I want to hear? Uh, I'll be the manager Saturday night. Okay. So, uh, I'll be making the pizzas as well. So, you'll hand uh, me the balls and the chefs, right? Yeah. Okay. And how much you think this is going to run me? Um, well, it would probably be easiest. All positions offering flexible, full and... Sorry, I mean, it would probably be easiest to do them as large thin crust, but if you want 20, I've got a special that'll do delivery. Mm -hmm. It's three or more large one-topping pizzas, and they're nine ninety nine dollars each. <laughs> Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, so, like, I need a few with, like, maybe a couple toppings, some um, with, like, just cheese. What do you think would look, like, the best as far as, like, being real, looking like a real dick? What do you think would be, like, you know, like, pretty much looking like a real dick instead of, like, something fake? I want them to look, like, you know, as real as possible. Maybe you could put, like, the meats on the bottom and then maybe put the cheese on the top so it looks, you know, like, skin more like. Yeah, I could do, like, um, the pizza sauce and then put for, like, pepperoni all and then at the very top of it have no cheese on the top of that and then just put cheese down, like, the shafts. Okay, but we don't want the sauce to show through. I don't want bloody dicks at a party. <laughs> I mean, I don't um, want them to look like they have the clap or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean... Did you want them with, like, different toppings, or did you want them all to have the same topping? Uh, oh, no, no. I got women with a bunch of different tastes. Could you make some of them, like, black? I mean, I don't want them burnt by any means. But I could do, know, like, black olives. Like, a whole bunch of black olives, though? Ooh, I don't know if that would taste so well. I mean, it may look good, but, yeah, I'm not thinking that would be very good as far as taste. I don't know. Black's not They're my taste like anyway, so, out. I mean, I really uh -huh. don't know. I mean, if I do regular black olives on the single topping pizza mm -hmm. with probably like extra cheese mm -hmm. it would be darker all the way through it just be spotted ish i guess it, it might look funny but Ugh, so we're gonna have like albino black dicks or something yeah kind of mm, maybe it look like they have some birthmarks or something i could do ham um sausage Okay, that sounds good. Um, but you're sure you can have those by Saturday, right? Yeah, the 20 pizzas will actually only take, like, 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. making and baking all of them. And yeah. then, the depending on how busy we are at the time you want them delivered, mm -hmm. it could be anywhere from 30 to 45, which is our regular, or if we get really busy, it could extend to about an hour and a half. But Ooh, since it's really? a timed order, it would take priority. Oh, okay. So then I'm also curious, how exactly are you going to shape those? I'm sorry, how am I going to what? How are you going to shape them so that, you know, you have the balls of the day, or the balls and then I you would, actually have the deck? You know, I would like cut the, the thin crust mm -hmm. before 
any of the toppings go on it and then just top it like that. Okay, so you're going to make, basically, can you make me the round ones and they're going to be the balls and then, like, cut, like, a shaft? Did you want all of the pizzas to be, like, individual or did you want them, like, Individual, what do you mean? Individual what? Like, cut them all into the shape of a penis. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's only us females. There's not going to be any males that I know of. Yeah, so I could just cut the shape into the pizzas, sauce it, and then top it. Okay. Because the thin crust won't expand when it bakes, like the regular hand sauce or the pando would. Mm Mm-hmm. So it'll keep its shape. Okay, that sounds really good. So um, I need to have that order probably by about 9 p.m.-ish on Saturday. So when would you um, expect that I would call back to where it's definitely going to be delivered by 9? If you wanted to place the order right now, I could take it all and then the tags will print out on Friday night Mm -hmm. at the end of the night. And then the opening manager will set the tags aside and we'll have it up on our system to show that it's going to drop around 8.30 so that we have 30 minutes to make it and get it there by 9 o'clock. If you, you if it's going to take 30, okay, okay, okay. If it's going to take 30 minutes to make it and you set it for 8.30, I mean, common sense would say. No, it's set for, it's set to be there at 9.30. No, 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 I need it by 9 p.m., yeah, sorry. It's set to be there at 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. So when a delivery is timed out, it drops on our screen 30 minutes prior. But because it's up there all day, we know to start it a few minutes earlier. That way they're ready to throw in the oven when it drops on our screen. Okay, and then, like, exactly how many dicks can you bake at one time? Uh, In the same spot, four, but our oven would hold up to... Uh, let's see, probably like 12 pizzas at a time. Okay, so 12 dicks at a time? I mean, yeah. I, I, I want to make sure these are done correctly. I mean, because if I get some pizzas that look like tits or something, I'm going to be really pissed off. I understand. I'll make them correctly. Okay, so, um... I'll just go ahead and I'll call back on Saturday. How about that? I'll as long as you give us a few hours notice on Saturday. Yeah. Do I just in say, order to time your name's talk David, you right? Stuff. Yes, my name is David. Okay, so I just say, hey, I talked to David. He's going to make me some dick pizzas tonight. Yeah. Okay. Will do. All right. All right. I'll call back about 6 p.m. on Saturday. Is that good? Yeah, I'll be here by 6 p.m. Awesome. Thanks so much, David. You have a great night. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, hell, he's going to make me some dick pizzas. (laughs) Nobody else ever is considering making me dick pizzas. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, David's the shit. David and Domino's pizza. (laughs) Whoops. There we go. When I pass the the microphone back with you, we're going to have to leave it on the... uh, <clears throat> the table there. Okay, okay. I'll stretch things out. Whoops. Uh, there we go. She said. <laughs> By the way, <clears throat> during the 12 minutes that phone call took, uh, those three shots really fucking slammed into me. <laughs> <laughs> you want another? I'm pretty fucking drunk. I will do another smaller one. Okay. Another thing I've noticed that the prank calls I've attempted have fucking crashed and burned. The one prank call you attempted went very well. It went 12 minutes. You got a fucking manager of Domino's Pizza to waste 10 minutes of his life. I'm talking about dick shaped pizzas. That's dumb as shit. I've been told I sound sexy. Absolutely. There you go, baby. I've been told I sound sexy. You do. Maybe if I call one of these strip clubs, I need to put on my sexy voice. Yeah. So these bitches are like, yeah, I want to see that guy with titties mm-hmm. and see how many dollar bills he can get. I don't know if I'd like to see the titties, but hey. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go back to a few, and if these don't work, we're going to go back to the fucking penis-shaped pizzas. <laughs> this will be the fucking penis-shaped, dick-shaped fucking pizza show, and that's all it'll ever be. See what other premises we got. I'll try another convenience store 
I'll do the lost dog premise. Uh, let's see. Did I do this one? Don't remember. So I'll assume I did. No, that one's closed. Can't do that one. Do this one. Tim's Convenience Store in Phoenix, Arizona. All I'm right. much more fucking inebriated than I was uh, before that, that one phone call started. Mm-hmm. I was sitting here thinking, man, this shit is really hitting me hard. Whoops. So I really have to pay extra attention to uh, get the technical aspects of this right. 602 area code. And then those numbers. Another problem is when I switch back and forth between the Skype and the numbers, uh, I forget what the number was. Uh, well, I got it right. More mm. forgetful as time goes on with the more shots. Okay, what are we doing? Convenience store. Lost dog. There we go. Old lost dog prank. Prank a Rooney. Vanstor. Oh, thank God you answered. I'm just, I'm besides myself. Uh, I lost my dog. I lost my dog in the area. And I was wondering if you've seen like, like a, a German Shepherd. Have you seen a German Shepherd like run by there at any time? No, nah, man. But if, if I uh, do see it, I'll be sure to get it because I'm looking for a German Shepherd. You can't take my German Shepherd, dude. What I'm worried about is... There's like a Chinese restaurant in the fucking area, and if they get a hold of him, well, he's going to be like the main course, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, man. They're going to be serving a, a Sioux Shepherd. Oh, my God. That's, that's my, that's like, hey, like my not, worst nightmare, but, dude. No, nah, but if I, if, I, if I find it, man, I promise, man, that I'll get it and take good care of it for you and uh, raise oh. it to be a good dog and, 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 you know, and probably raise it with my daughter. Dude, you can't steal my dog. I'm trying to get my dog back. I just don't well, want to get fi- eaten by people. Finders, uh, keepers, losers, weepers, bro. No, that is not that is not a legal precedent at all. You can look that shit up. I'm gonna call back later, dude, and see if you found my dog. You cannot keep my dog, and make all sure right, those dog. fucking chinks down the street don't get my fucking dog. I don't want him eating. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, stand by over there, man. Make sure you you watching they building because you know they they, they probably hauling in cats right now. Man, that's that's all. That's like I said, that's my worst fucking nightmare. If Hell you do you, get him, at least promise me one thing, dude. You won't eat him. No, 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 no. I'm a. I like je- shepherds, man. They're too smart to be eaten. Okay, that makes me. That makes me feel a little bit better. That's that's. Those are wise words. German shepherds <laughs> are too right, smart brother. to be eaten. <laughs> All right, brother. Awesome. Thanks, Take man. All right, you Keep like an it. eye out, man. My dog. All right, I will. All right brother. All right. Thank you. He's gonna steal my fucking dog. What a dick. <clears throat> he didn't stay on the line though. Yeah. At least he's not gonna eat it. And that's, you know. By the way, I'm writing down uh, when we have okay calls so I can cut these out for previews and shit. That's, um, let's see. <laughs> Fucking hat hit the microphone. Uh, that's the lost dog at 32 minutes in. Fucking A. <laughs> what else we got? Fuck a bee, it has two holes. Ha <laughs> ha uh, Oh, naked girlfriend picks. We'll do that one. Let me find somebody. Let me find what we got here. I'm done with convenience stores. I'm going to go with um, uh, limo service. Phoenix, Arizona. What we got here? Mirage limousines. Wow, they got four and a half out of five stars. 136 reviews. Fucking good for you. Mirage limousines. Shout out to you. You're doing well. Don't shout them out until they answer. I expect some good fucking customer service out of this. I, I will give you a bad review live in the air. Don't fucking, don't fuck with me, son. <laughs> it's a four eight zero area code. Drinking's like constricting my airways. <laughs> it's making it hard to talk. That puts a damper <clears throat> on the uh, what we got going on here. Uh, let's see, seventy seven hundred. Awesomeness. Yeah, drink. I mean, I got to think fucking one more shot's going to put me over the edge. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need for this call. <clears throat> By the way, if I didn't do it earlier, which I think I did a couple times, thank you for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying it. It's been worth it so far. For the penis shaped pizza and the guy's going to steal my fucking German Shepherd. I know, asshole. But again, at least it won't get eaten by the chinks. Hey, I got some dick-shaped pizza Saturday night. Anybody want a piece? Dirty chinks. We should record a call. <laughs> Saturday night with David. 
And see who's got those dick pizzas ready. Be sucking down some dick pizza. That's right. Those are the kind of jokes you fucking paid for. Well, I know this is going to be like the fucking end of me, this, this shot. I have no tolerance for alcohol. I haven't drank in a long time. My face is going to constrict my airways more. That's going to fuck me up. Maybe you mm. should wait. Maybe you'll see me like die live in the air. Yeah, I'm going to wait for this call. Yeah, do a couple calls. If this call goes good. well, I'll, um, I'll give myself a fucking I don't know, reward. As as how can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I used your service uh, the other day, and I think I left my phone in the back of one of your limos. And i got to be honest with you, there's like all kinds of pictures on there that I don't want to get now. Pictures of my girlfriend, you know, like her titties and her vag and just all kinds of shit. Is, 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 did you find any phones in one of your cars recently, like an iPhone 7? No, we have not, but uh, what vehicle was it for you in? Um, well, let me, uh, I'll get that, uh, that paperwork here in a minute and get you that number. But, uh, t- t- I just want to make sure that if you do find the, the, the phone, you're not going to be looking through it. Cause like, you know, there's this, I mean like 80% of the pictures are just her, like, you know, like fucking spread Eagle and just like all okay, splayed so out for the world. To see. You in? Do what? What vehicle were you in? Uh, I forget. It was like, it was like, you know, one of the big, the, the big, like long stretch, like party limousines. And I, like, like I said, man, it's just like, you know, okay, her, so what, like, I don't uh, want her. Color was it? Do what? What color? What color was it? Uh, it was black. You mean the car or the phone? Okay, we, the phone was white. The the car is black. And I I just want to make black? sure. I just want to make sure like the was phone's not passed around to like your employee. Was it an shit, SUV was or was it a car? Uh, it was a car. And I want to make sure that like you know that like the pictures aren't getting passed around. Like you don't mean a bunch of dudes okay, like looking so at my girlfriend's titties and shit. You know what I'm saying? We will uh, we'll check the vehicle tomorrow and see if there's a phone in there. Okay, but you're not gonna look at the pictures, what's right? What's the name on the reservation? Uh, Frank Frank Johnson. I don't want people looking at like okay, her titties. We'll check, you know, this is, this is basically so we'll what I'm check getting out at. The vehicle tomorrow, and if it's there, give us a call. Give us a call tomorrow sometime after about uh, eleven o'clock, and we'll be able to check it out for you. Okay, but you can promise me you're not gonna be looking at the pictures because, like, there's like a, like a there's like a ton of vag, a ton of vag pics. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so tomorrow at eleven, give us a call. Okay, but I just you know just don't don't be don't be looking at her clit. You know what I'm saying? He hung up on the clit. What was that? That was clit at 37 minutes. I'm write that down. Clit at 37. <laughs> oh, all oh, that picture. That fucking picture right there fucking froze. Let me fix it. Oh, the camera froze. God damn it. That's so annoying. Let me try to put, some, let me put it back. Ah. Uh. There we go. Fucking frame froze. Hello, everybody. God damn. So what we haven't done? We're 40 minutes in this shit. We will do another... Yeah. Um, adult toy shop. Let's do that. Let's do a break first. I want to play an old, uh, some old live uh, uh, Las Vegas stripper prank calls. That actually went well back in the day. We'll be back. It's Darren Jesus Show, Drunken Live Prank Call Show. There it is, right there on the bottom, right there. Scrolling. We'll be back after this. Nope, that's not what I want. There it is. Nope, that's not what I want either. There they are. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm currently scheduled to get a, uh, a sex reassignment surgery, a sex change operation. I was wondering how big do my breasts have to be to work in your establishment? Oh, bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we got one more. <laughs> the Spearmint Rhino in Las Vegas. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> she didn't like that question at all. Bitch. What kind of customer service is that? I could be a hot bitch after I get my titties in. She has no idea. I'd be the biggest fucking owner there. Damn, yeah. He's around. 
<laughs> Thank you for calling Spam at Rhino. This is Andrew. Can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I am looking for employment, and I am uh, currently uh, scheduled to get sex reassignment surgery. I was wondering, how big do my breasts have to be to work in your establishment? They could be pretty much any size. Really? I mean, but uh, be, be honest with me, ma'am. I, I should go bigger, right? Um, you know, it's entirely up to you. I mean, different okay, people and my, like uh, my different things. Okay, does my penis completely removed? I would assume so. Okay, but uh, is it, you like fully nude? No, no, just top. Okay, this. so the doctor I go to really doesn't have to be that good. I'm just sorry, like, we said that. I, the doctor I go to to uh, have my penis removed, he doesn't have to be like a great doctor. He just has to be like passable. That's on you, sweetie. Okay, well, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking C cup, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in the business. Uh, what would you suggest? I would suggest whatever makes you happy. Uh, what would make me happy is getting mad dollar bills uh, at your establishment. I need to know what kind of cuppage I'm going to have to go with. Again, it's, it's whatever makes you happy. You obviously can't sell yourself if you're not happy with what you look at. Right. I'm thinking D cup. Hmm? Whatever floats your boat. I'm thinking, and they have like a like a catalog at the office of like different nipples. I'm thinking like 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 the big pepperoni nipples. Do you think guys like that? They just might. You never know. Will I get like mad dollar bills with big pepperoni nipples? You just might. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I want to thank you for your time, man. Do you really like have nothing better to do? <laughs> oh, believe. I mean, I appreciate the laugh for this evening, but really. <laughs> What if I have hair on my breast? I currently have a lot of hair on my breast. What if I still have the hair? I, I guess I wouldn't be getting like uh, money for that, would I? Probably not, unless there's guys who like the hairy ones. But then again, you never know, you know. Right. Have you ever had anyone come in there to like, you know, they, they said, uh, can, they, can you point me in the direction of the stripper with uh, the hairy boobs? Exactly. <laughs> oh my God, you're too funny. Well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I appreciate uh, you taking the time. This is a very, very important career decision to me, and uh, you've been a lot of help. Okay, whatever I can do to help. Thank you very much, ma'am. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that chick was awesome. She was a good sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, at some point, I'm going to uh, go back and cut out all these prank calls and have them like, you know, to where we can play them anytime we want. And that will be awesome. <laughs> Which I did. I did that. It's a true story. Whoop, that's the next one. We're not doing that one yet. In fact, the next one, uh, the old one, is a, a Valentine's Day prank call to uh, uh, for dildos. I'm going to try that one now. I have an adult store. By the way, three shots. I'm very fucking drunk. I'll be fair, I think some of those were doubles. And by the yeah, you did see correctly, I did a wardrobe change during the break. A la the Oscars or whatnot. Whew. I'm looking at the other shot, man. It's right here. That's what it looks like in this camera. Hold on. It looks like that in that camera. There you go. I'm debating on whether to do this because uh, the three shots I already took. Well, it's really like some of them were doubles, so that's like five. They really hit me hard, son. They really hit me hard. That's also what she said. If she was in an abusive relationship, I don't know. Uh, well, we have another. We'll do another uh, pizza prank call coming up. But first, God, I keep forgetting the premise. I keep it. I've, this will be the sixth fucking time since we started that break that I've gone back to look at the premise. Calling an adult toy store. God damn. See, it's one of the the, the fucking drawbacks of, of drinking during this. It does make it more fun though. Anyway. Oh, by the way, I will be talking uh, about you in this call. This for the purpose. Thank you for calling Hustler Hollywood. This is Sheena. How can I help you? Sheena, uh, I w I'm calling to inquire. Like, what's the uh, what's the biggest dildo you have, both in the vibrator variety and the non vibrator variety? Well, we are open till midnight. You can definitely come on in. There are plenty of sizes, and you can check on our website at hustlerhollywood.com. Uh, you don't know, like, like offhand, like the inches of the biggest one. No, sir. Um, you're definitely. Um, hmm. As you can see, there's probably a ton of things that we have here. We are definitely an adult shop, so you're welcome yeah. to come on browse, and you can take a look in person. i got to be honest with you. My girlfriend, uh, she's very large down there, and I just, you know, I don't have what it takes to satisfy her. 
So I need like I not only need like length, I also need girth. Is that definitely something well, you, know, you can then satisfy? Then you can you can definitely come on in. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Come on have, in and purchase it that way. And you have them like you know like Caucasian and black as well. Uh, I believe you're. I believe you're more than aware that with the anonymous call, you know, definitely. I'm, I'm sure that you're aware that we have everything. You, I'm sure you've been doing adult shop. Well, I am un- well, we have I everything. Have been, but I am unaware. That's why I'm calling you. Um, yes, because sir. she's really. Well, I got to be honest with you. She's like sun. in like the 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 black ones. Like, okay. Like, they really like well, the dark. Black well, that's ones. a little personal. That's that's for your relationship. So as you have everything there, you can come on in and take a look. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm. I'm just. Uh, just. Okay. I'm not black enough. Thank you. Is, I think is the point. Okay. Have a good night, hon. Too white. Too white and too small. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch did not want to talk to me. I'll tell you, uh, with the, econ- the anonymous call, I'm, I'm sure you're quite aware. You've been in a doll store before. You know what we have. If I knew what you fucking had, bitch, I wouldn't be calling, would I? Especially some goddamn customer service. What's this? Let me leave a review for this bitch. Where's it at? There it is. Hustle Hollywood in Phoenix, Arizona. They have five stars. I should write a review. This bitch wouldn't tell me if they got black cocks or not. End review. <laughs> I don't know if you got big black cocks, God damn it. Well, she didn't know it's you personally. It's yeah, hypothetical. Yeah. She don't hear about it anyway. It's too personal for her. She works in a shop that sells rubber dicks. <laughs> but what I was saying was too fucking personal for her. Right. I'm going to do one more of the uh, the other premises, the old premises. Oh, we got to do the tattoos. Let me find a tattoo shop. We'll do a tattoo shop in Denver. I need to do a racist tattoo. What What do you think I should go with, Fiancy? Uh, <clears throat> should I go with Hitler? That's a good, that's oldie but a goodie. Oh. Uh, well, these fucking tattoo shops are closed. Damn. Really? I'm going to go farther out west. Let me go to uh, Portland, Oregon. Tattoo shop. Wow, these are all closed too. Don't people get tattoos late at night? Is that not a thing? Will you go get a fucking tattoo nine to five? No Hope, No Fear Tattoo Art Studio. Let's see whether they're open or not. Ah, here we go. Sea Tramp Tattoo Company. <laughs> they're open until midnight out west. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna give my uh, I'm gonna give my end of this shit one more shot, and then we'll go back to the proven success of the fiancé with the the uh, the penis shaped pizzas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy went to put black olives all over. It looked like a black dick. Let's see, 503, area code, and then 974, 974. All right, tattoo peeps. Hey, Tramp Tattoo. Yeah, um, I wanted to know if, uh, first of all, it would be possible, and then second of all, how much it would cost. I want to get like a full back tattoo, and I want it to be a portrait of Adolf Hitler. Is that something you can do? Wow. <laughs> 16 seconds, the full back tattoo of Hitler caused him to hang up. Try again. God damn. I'll try another. Let me see if I can find another fucking open tattoo shop in Portland, Oregon. That's as far west as I can go. Because Washington, well, I can't do a Hawaii, I think. I don't think they're going to be much more amenable to Hitler tattoos. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find another. Um, and that's it. Because I can't call Washington or California because those are two party call states. I have to afford, inform them that they are being recorded. Call him back and ask him if he could do a swastika if he can't do Hitler. Well, he's not going to be much more with the swastika. He's gonna he's gonna hang up even faster. Well, I just tell him, say, look. What about um? Look, let's let's see. see. ID. What about a swastika? Maybe we'll try uh, see if one's open in Boise, Idaho. They seem more racist. Better not give me a, t- a fucking Hitler tattoo in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Every single tattoo shop, which is like twenty of them, in Boise, Idaho, is fucking closed. You got to be kidding me. Let's see. Is Hawaii one of these goddamn states I can't call? No, I can call Hawaii. I can call Alaska, too. I bet some fucking races up in Alaska. 
What's that? Uh, Anchorage. <coughs> wow, they're all closed. This one's closing soon. Okay. Rebirth tattoo. This is my last one. I'm fucking done. We're going to wrap up with the fucking the pizza-shaped penises because those, those work. This has been a rough night for me. You mean the penis-shaped pizza? What did I say? The penis-shaped penises? Mm-hmm. Ask <clears> them <throat> for penis-shaped pizzas, penises. See what they say to that. Whoops. No, that's wrong. You said the pizza-shaped penises. Oh. One... 907 area code. Going away out to Alaska for this shit. They let me do this. 4653. See. Rebirth tattoo by Vinny. Let's see what Vinny has to say about all this. This is Vinny. Thanks for calling Rebirth Tattoo. We are located at 1441 West... Fucking voicemail, Vinny? Tuesday ...in the Northern Lights Village. We are open Monday through Saturday, noon to 8, and Sunday, 11 to 6. Please leave us a message, and we'll get back to you... No, I'm not leaving you a fucking message. God damn it! <coughs> Fuck it, I'm done. This has not been my night. This has not been my night at all. We're gonna go, um... Pizza shop in Portland, Oregon. These motherfuckers gotta be awake. Fucking selling pizzas. A lot of them are closing soon. Bandini pizza and pasta. You ready to do Bandini pizza and pasta? Bandini it is. All right, I'm gonna put this fucking number in here. 503 area code. By the way, make sure you check out the shows at standardjesus.net. I'll be taking uh I'll be taking my last shot while the fiancé is doing the call. It's getting harder and harder as time goes on. <laughs> okay, just um I said just put the uh microphone on it. That's right. Got you. Cool. Okay. We're gonna call. What are we calling? Damn Dini's a hell, Damn I don't know. Pizza and pasta. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Bandini. Um, yes. Are you a manager? No, I'm not. Would you like to speak to one? Well, let's start out with you. Um, I'm sir I'm having a bachelorette party for a friend of mine on Saturday night, and I need some mm-hmm. penis shaped pizzas. Um, can you do those? Is this a prank? No, not at all. Okay. I, I don't think we do that. Um, but let me double check, okay? What's your name? Kara. Kara? Let me put you on hold. Kara with a K. Bandini Pizza and Pasta. This is Daniel, manager. 
Hi, Daniel. Um, I'm throwing a bachelorette party on Saturday night for a friend, and I need some penis-shaped pizzas, and I needed to find out if you guys could make about 20 of those for me. Yeah, without a doubt. Excuse me? I can definitely do that. I can definitely do that. Okay, great. Um, and I need, like, the balls, and I also need the shaft. So I need, like, a full dick pizza. But I need, like, 20 I got of you them. That. Can you do those? Not a problem. All right. Um, so are you going to want them all to be cheese, pepperoni, Hawaiian? What kind of pizzas are we wanting? Like Hawaiian dicks? Or how about this? How about I just load it up with Italian sausage? Just every single one of them, like three times Italian sausage. Um, are you being sarcastic? No, no, I'm being entirely serious because, I mean, think about it. <clears throat> think about the pizza. Okay, I know what kind of pizza I want. So you want a Hawaiian? Um, what exactly is Hawaiian? Like, going to put, like, a bunch of, like... Pineapple on I'm gonna it, put a, then it's going to look like gonna, but, my dick has warts. Well, I mean, you want to have vari variations on that, right? All different kinds of dicks. Uh, well, I do, but I don't want them to look like they have, like, diseases. Like, come on oh, now. Cool. Pineapples um, look like they anyways. have warts all over the dick. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, uh, would no, you rather really pepperoni or just cheese? Cheese? Well, I need, like, can you put, like, um, the meat and stuff underneath the cheese? That way, you know, it looks like the cheese is, like, more like the flesh tone color. That's fine. You know what? Tell you what. How about you tell me exactly what you want? I can make it. I, I'm, I've been making pizza for a really long time. You just tell me exactly what you want. Right now, I'm looking at uh, 20 Hawaiian pizzas. That'll be $379. No, no, no. I don't want Hawaiian pizzas. Okay. What kind of pizzas do you want? Um, Cheese? What? Cheese pizzas? Well, like I said, that'll I be, want... It'll be, it'll be $320. Okay. Well, that cost is no issue at all. Excellent. All right. Then I can go ahead and take your visa right now. Um, well, I don't have a visa right now. Like, Unfortunately, we cannot take for you. Together. Huh? Well, huh? we can't we can't make a make an order without taking on a uh, a credit card for advance. Okay. That, well, we all size. have to pull our money together. I was going to pay cash. Is that a problem? Um, that's not a problem. Just as long as I can go ahead and get it authorized on the card before I go start making a bunch of penis sized pizzas or. Penis shaped pizzas. Could I come in and pay cash on Saturday night or like Saturday, like around noon, and then have them delivered? I need them delivered like by 9 p.m. Okay, absolutely. Uh, can I first start off with your phone number? Uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, first I need to make sure that you're going to be able to do the quality of work that I need, and also I. Oh, don't worry. We'll deliver. We'll deliver. We'll deliver the dick shaped pizzas. Okay, well, I need to know exactly, I mean, like I said, I don't want the Hawaiian ones. I don't want them to look like they have, like, the clap or, like, warts on the Oh, dicks. don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. They are perfect. Um, perfect. Well, I, I think I sense a little bit of sarcasm out of you, Daniel, and that's not very oh, professional not at all. if you're a manager. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, have a wonderful evening. Uh, why? Fun. I thought you said you could make them. Oh, fucker hung up on me. <laughs> Thought he was down to make my damn pizzas. Uh, a couple things about that call. First of all, um, the guy's very confident in his pizza making ability. Right. He's like, oh, look, don't worry. They're going to be perfect. These fucking pizzas are going to be perfect. My favorite part, though, was when he was like, um, we should put like a ton of sauces on it. And he was like, you said you're being sarcastic? He was like, no, a ton of sausage. Think about it. <laughs> he was not getting the He did not want a fucking Hawaiian pizza. Look, I got you down for 20 Hawaiian pizzas. It's going to be $379. <laughs> if I get your credit card number, we'll get that shit going. Oh, he wanted my fucking phone number, but I didn't even he's know very, he's very, he's a very confident guy. 
He will he will make your dick shape pizzas and they will be perfect. Daniel Bastard. You should go go leave a, a, a review for them. Bandini Pizza and Pasta in Portland, Oregon. They will make your dick shape pizzas and that shit will be perfect. Right. You open but. you open the fucking box, you'll be like, That's a dick. <laughs> That's a dick. Okay. Ah. Okay, we did an hour. That's fucking awesome. Thank you, Fiancy. Uh, we did a few. We got a good couple of calls. More like four. We did okay. My pleasure as always. So the penis shaped pizzas, they always they always work. People love it. But again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking this out. Go get the archives, all that shit. Yes, thank you. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more we'll do this, obviously. Uh, at least until I get alcohol poisoning or whatever. Fucking A. Thanks, everybody. You all are awesome. Go check out SternJesus.net. High noon with Stern Jesus every Friday. Noon Eastern Time, live on CannabisRadio.com. Podcast information, the show, whatnot. SternJesus.net. And go check out us out on Patreon, which you are right now. Uh, go check out other subscriber options. All that stuff. Everyone Help support this show. Evening. Fucking Today, A. Whatever time it is in your time zone. Um... We will go out with the uh, an old uh, Valentine, Valentine's Day dildo prank call, as I promised you heard earlier, and uh, we're going to hear it again. This call went fairly well. She was, uh, the lady before didn't have no information at all. This woman, she has information. She has fucking sizes. She has all the information you need. Check it out. Thanks, everybody. Peace, bitches. <laughs> Thanks for calling Hollywood Monroe. This is Alyssa. How may I help you? Alyssa, yes. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's last minute. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I'm going to be in real hot water with my girlfriend if I don't get her, get her something amazing. I need to know what's the, the, the biggest uh, dildo slash vibrator that you all have up there. You mean like the most popular? Uh, no, or... just like the largest in size. You know what I mean? Uh, if you want it to vibrate, it would need to be either the Big Boss by Fun Factory or our Realistic Vibrating by Doc Johnson. Uh, in terms of inches, what, what are we talking? Um, those are going to be somewhere in the eight and a half range. Um, and they're going to be, if we're going by diameter, probably two inches thick. Okay, what about just just a, just a plain dildo? I mean, I need I need something with girth and with, and with length. That's that's um, what she needs. Um, if you're looking for that, we have ones that go all the way up to six inches in diameter, and okay. that go up to seventeen inches long. Wow, that's that that's good. I really need something that's going to have her like walking funny afterwards. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you can definitely get the hookup on that down here. Um, you know, that that that's awesome. I don't you know I don't want to you know talk out of score or whatever. But she's uh you know she's quite large down there, and you know sometimes I have a uh, problem satisfying her. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mamie. We been very helpful. We definitely have a variety of sizes for you to choose from. Yes. So. Yes. I need something just you know just a gargantuan. Really. D- is the seventeen inch? Does that come in black? Um. Yes, it does. We also have one that is more like probably 12 inches but it's going to be much girthier okay than that might a work 17 inch one yeah you know something like you know like like bigger than a coke can yeah no we absolutely have a selection of those if you're not concerned awesome. about it vibrating yeah, really need to really need to fill that up ma'am you've right been on. very very helpful thank you mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's gonna be a great yeah, valentine's sure. day yeah awesome indeed have a good night you too bye-bye <laughs> Much like the Halloween costume people, they're very helpful. <laughs> very helpful. You get a 17-inch dildo. Oh, my God. And you get something that's six inches in diameter. Yeah. That's hardcore. Ew, why? Hardcore. Ladies out there, think about that. Ew.